Hey guys, welcome back to Boston TV. Today we have another episode of Ask Paul, which is basically where my fans leave me comments asking me for some advice on anything. It could be on school, on bullying, anything and everything. So today's topic is buying pets on eBay. Well, LPS pets, I mean. So one of the Possum fans asked, should I get pets off of eBay? And to be honest, I've actually never bought Littlest Pet Shop toys from eBay. Wow, right? I'm pretty surprised myself. But most of my pets come from yard sales around the city, like where I live. And usually I go online to search to see where they have a yard sale at. And when they do, I show up and I guess I just got really lucky because people in the area don't want LPS. Some of them told me that their daughter doesn't play with LPS anymore, so they're kind of getting rid of their collection. But yeah, although I've never purchased LPS on eBay, I have bought some stuff on eBay before, and I think that there are a few tips I can give you when buying LPS on eBay. So the first one is check the seller's ratings. I know that when I'm purchasing any item on eBay, I always check the reviews. Check to see if they have good reviews. Usually people buy stuff and they'll leave a review like fast shipping, item as described or whatnot. So check to see if they have a lot of ratings. Now, even if they don't have a lot of ratings, it could just be that they're a new seller, but keep an eye out for bad ratings. Secondly, make sure to look at the pictures. Look at the pictures to see if it shows like the bottom of the LPS where there's a magnet or, you know, just pay really close attention to the different pictures that they post up. Usually the more pictures they have, the better. You can also message the seller to ask them for additional pictures because if the ones that they posted up aren't too clear, I would just email them or message them and ask for more pictures. Ask them to take more pictures because it doesn't hurt to see more. And if it's a real pet, I don't see why they wouldn't take more pictures and show it to you guys. Tip number three, ask. I have asked sellers before whether or not their LPS is real. Some of them just told me, nope, it's a fake. And I said, wow, I didn't know that you were so honest. But I would say that most sellers would tell you if you ask them, like whether or not the LPS is fake or not. Some of them don't actually know, but for the ones that do actually know, they would tell you, normally they would. The next tip is to check their return policy. Sometimes on eBay, when you buy something, there is no returns, but there are sellers out there who allows returns. I typically buy stuff from people who allow returns only because if I get the item and I don't like it, then I'll just return it. Another tip is to look at where the item is located. Usually, if the seller, for example, at least here in America, if I see that they're selling pets in America, more than often the pet is usually real. Now I know China and Hong Kong has a lot of pets that they're selling to, but most of them are fake. So you just gotta keep an eye out on that. So sometimes kinda take a look at where the item is being sold. I think places like China or Hong Kong usually has most of the fakes, but the location might help a little bit. Now, although I don't have a lot of experience with buying LPS on eBay specifically, I think that these are some tips that may be helpful to you guys just to keep an eye out on. I'm also thinking of perhaps doing some eBay hauls maybe, like purchasing batches of LPS and kind of reviewing the LPS, but I'm not sure, I'm still thinking about that. I guess the reason why I never usually buy pets on LPS is because, I mean it depends. Like sometimes on eBay they have specific pets, so if you're looking for a specific collie or a specific dog, then you can purchase it on eBay. Or if you're just looking to buy a lot, like a bunch of them, then you can also buy it on eBay. But I find that usually most of my pets come in batches, like a lot of them, people in the area that I live around usually sell them as collections. And so I usually get a lot of LPS that way. And another thing is I don't really have a dream LPS pet like some people do. Like I'm pretty open to a lot of different LPS. If I think it looks cute and I like it, then you know what, I like it. And so that's why I don't use a lot of collies and like rare pets in my videos. I like to use a variety of pets and you know I saw some possum fans comment that they really appreciate how I don't always just use dogs and cats or rare pets that I actually use other things like pandas, llamas, monkeys and whatnot because I feel like they're all cute to me. Now for those of you who have experienced buying LPS on eBay, please comment below and share some of your advice so that other possum fans can look at them and read them and understand them so that the next time they're buying LPS on eBay, they won't get scammed. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope some of these tips are a little bit helpful for you guys. But leave me a comment below and let me know what tips you have for other possum fans. <laughs>